After watching the Google Docs video on the teaching channel, I was instantly inspired. We were already using some industry-specific cloud-based software in my classroom, and I thought Google Docs would be another great tool to utilize. I knew from previous experience that students probably didn't have access to Google Docs, so I immediately contacted the technical department to see if I could have this unblocked. No! That went over like a fart in a spacesuit. Okay, we've right, had a problem here. They did, however, inform me that the school already had in place something called Synergy. Synergy had everything Google Docs had, plus it was already tied to the school's existing website, and students already had accounts set up. Working with Google Docs and Synergy really helps out a lot because if I'm working on a project or a homework assignment from home, I can send it right to my teacher and you know everything is set up, it's done. You can communicate with your group partners and just send it through Synergy. Working with programs like Synergy or Google Docs helps with a lot of school projects because not everybody has transportation abilities and it's hard to get from one place to another so you have that kind of internet connection whereas if somebody had, didn't have transportation to get to somebody else's house you could just go on the internet and work together. I really like working on group projects it's just sometimes very difficult to um, get everyone together outside of school this way you can get everybody really working together without being in the same place. Students can work collaboratively on projects in an environment that they're used to working in um, let's face it, this is how this generation communicates. And I think as educators, we really need to embrace this. Um, working on cloud-based technology is what we're used to. It's what we are accustomed to nowadays. I mean, we have Facebook, Instagram, instant messaging. We're constantly prohibiting students from using cell phones and iPods and other devices. And I think what we need to do is try to find a way to incorporate that technology into our classroom. Using mobile devices in the classroom would be a lot easier due to the fact that um, we use our cell phones a lot. A lot of people around us use cell phones and pretty much that's what we're growing up to know going into the future. I think that some teachers are so against it that they don't really see the benefits. You know, not every kid is going to be on their cell phone messing around. You know, there's, there's good things about using cell phones in school because it really can help with getting work done. And just because cell phones have games and music and things like that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing to have. It's really just another tool for learning. There literally is an app for everything and I think you just need to get online and just look for some ways to incorporate some of this stuff into your daily classroom activities.